public holiday. It's Human Rights Day. And so we have the day of tomorrow. So this evening I have organized date night. We are gonna do a run on the promenade now, Super Promenade. And we can't take you with us because we're gonna be running. We just had a nice row in the car. A fight, a domestic, so should be fun. Um anyway, so we are still gonna try and have a good night and I just thought it'd be cool if you guys want to come along. We have just finished our run and now here's your mayor. You have half of mine and I have half of yours. We yeah. are having a date like we had our first one of our first dates when we were younger. We're having sushi. a picnic in the car. We both have sushi. The first time we had a date, we didn't have sushi though. We were like too young. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we had like sandwiches. Salty cracks. <laughs> Salty cracks and water. We're going to turn off a light and eat our food. And we're going to show you the lightning because there's lots of lightning happening. All the lightning. Close your mouth and close your eyes. Isn't that cold. nice? It's nice, eh? It's cold. It just makes your skin feel good. You're running. Yeah, but I'm gonna put cream on you as well. <laughs> Hates having to do any skincare. <laughs> Even though he needs it because he burns like a foreigner. So much heat. <laughs> Actually, you burn everywhere. You haven't rubbed it in properly. Still haven't. Spot on your forehead. Like a little child. This beaut day. Perfect day for a run on the beach. We haven't even said good morning, but... Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> We're doing um, a run on, or along, not the beach, but the... Promenade, uh, Musenberg. Uh, like the thing that goes along Musenberg. we'll show you. Um, or we'll show what we can. The run walk. Yeah, it's really cool. And we're gonna try and do that too. How far? We like three, uh, three Ks, three Because we actually don't have a lot of time. We're having breakfast with my mom afterwards at 10 and it's already like past nine so we'll see what we can do you're driving sure. Insane traffic and it's like what's the time now? 10 to 10. I, don't, I never use this watch. I literally always look at my phone. It's like 10 to 10. We're supposed to have breakfast with my mom at 10. 
so we kind of can't run. Are we going to do breakfast with my mom at need and then we're going to go around this evening. Should we do Sea Point again? Mm. Or shall we do here? Here. Why? Because it's closer to your house? Yes. Is that a brat? Yes. yes. Anyway, we're in Musenberg. I'll show you around now. And we're going to go get some, some breakfast at need. So at least you guys get to join us for that. What a wonderful What a wonderful world We're gonna go try and find um, gifts for our wedding guests. So we're doing, oh, everyone watches this, and so I don't know if I can say it or not. Uh, I'm just gonna say we're gonna get gifts, and you guys will see. Here in my workout gear, well everyone else looks really really good and the fiance is changing, I'll show you what this one looks like. We were thinking of either like a different colour suit, not blue or black. But yeah, we'll see. How freaking cool are these jeans from Topshop with the embroidered black flowers? <gasps> if we weren't on a wedding budget, these would be mine already. <laughs> oh, amazing. They're the mom jeans, so they're kind of high-waisted and kind of slouchy in the thigh area. But so beautiful. Oh my gosh, I need them. It has been a long while since I've checked in with you guys. I have since started doing cutaways for a video. What is that? Oh, I've since started doing cutaways for a video that's coming up. You guys would have probably already seen it, actually, to be honest. And I'm going to show you the mess, and then I'm going to take a memory card out of this camera and put it out of the camera because the other one just ran out of the memory card around the space but let me show you look at the mess that is my bed so you guys know this is what it now looks like when i have to style videos using that as my background and i'll check in with you guys in a little bit as you can see by the bed it is clear i have finished filming i have cleaned up actually i'm mostly cleaned up except for all the stuff on my desk over there that's like press stuff that needs to be sorted out and looked at and written about and taken pictures of and all that kind of stuff and um, but right now i'm watching michael and alex i just thought i'd have a quick little chat to you about wedding stuff just because i want to but i just don't know like what kind of format i should do it in if i should do like a proper sit down video on my channel if i should do it in a vlog um but mostly 
you kind of forget to to vlog like wedding stuff and um for those of you who don't know i'm getting married at devote in caledon and it's beautiful it's a forest venue it has a greenhouse as well um and the, the reception will be in the greenhouse and the ceremony will be under the trees in the forest uh, which is literally exactly what I wanted. Um, I don't even know how I found it. I actually found it on Instagram, like through a friend of a friend. Um, and it's my favorite. It's so beautiful. Like every time I go there, I'm just like, oh my gosh, I get to get married here. And it's everything I wanted. So they're doing the food, all the furniture they're doing, um, the plates, the cutlery, the, you know, that kind of like logistical stuff. So basically we just need to confirm the menu. Um, and then they do everything else and then the flowers we want to get um bowel flowers to do them that's kind of been like an up and down thing because our budget is very tight because we're paying for everything ourselves recently our parents have actually given us a little bit of money um so our mom gave me money for like my dress and some of my stuff on the day like maybe like she said to get my makeup done but i'm doing my makeup myself um, so i'm going to put some of that towards like getting my bridesmaids makeup done and um, my friend has offered to do my hair um, and she's a hairdresser and she's wonderful so she's offered to do that for free which is wonderful um, and my dress was really really cheap and my friend Laura is a wedding dress designer well she's a pastor and she used to be a wedding dress designer when she lived in Jakarta so she's like putting the lace onto my dress because um, I bought like as I described it I described it as a framework dress and then I bought lace like beautiful Chantilly lace to go over the top no, not over the whole dress like on the top section um, just to kind of like spice up a bit and I want something that's a little bit more like romantic and kind of the dress that I have is literally that it's a framework dress um, it's it's like a boob tube that just kind of like flows and basically we bought it for the bottom bit of the dress that's it uh, so she's doing that which is great because that cost us less than 10,000 Rand less than 8,000 Rand no a little bit over 8,000 Rand um, which is which is pretty cheap I think it's pretty cheap um, and then food we're the, the venue is doing that we got a different menu to what other people have done so we haven't done like proper sit down like very formal menu we actually opted for something else which um you'll see i think i'm not going to mention everything as we like lead up to the wedding otherwise like my friends watch this and they're gonna see and then it's not like a surprise it's not fun we look for a suit for sean today you would have seen that like a snippet of that i don't know if i'm gonna i think i'll put that in like black and white or something just so you guys can't see the color because i don't want everyone to know like exactly what he's wearing because then it kind of just loses the the fun of it um people seeing him on the day and be like oh my gosh you look so handsome i'm so excited to see him on the day um yes i can talk eh i thought i was silent i can talk when i'm alone or with you guys um uh what else can i tell you it's actually been so stressful like i don't like wedding planning i have not enjoyed planning my wedding Sean and I have been like it's just hard like both of us have just realized it's just really stressful really overwhelming because you have your normal day job I have this on the side like doing YouTube stuff doing my blog um like keeping our jobs going and like not you know what I mean like it's it's just a, it's just a lot to do is all I can say um it's a lot to plan and then there's a lot of extra stress because we're paying for everything ourselves so there's like more stress that goes into it I can't just go to the person that I want to do my I can't like go to like Bo and Luca and have them make my dress and then be down with it like I have to like find the cheapest option but also keep that in line with like my expectations and my idea of the wedding day so it's been interesting for the both of us uh, because obviously Sean doesn't understand why I want why I want greenery and the specific type of greenery that I want and the vibe that I'm going for because he's not, just not that way inclined I mean most men aren't um, so that part's been interesting is like you know for the two of us finding a balance of like what we're willing to pay for because he's not always going to find value in the stuff that i enjoy and i'm not going to find value in the stuff that he enjoys that he wants for the wedding so it's been interesting um managing in-laws for the both of us has been interesting um in the whole process and probably i think half of why it's also been hard is i haven't had my sister with me because we both like she's obviously overseas so she can't come and do stuff with me we can't like walk around to different wedding places and vendors and like 
go and like look at things and just like make a fun time of it it's kind of just been like for the most part it's been stressful and just tiring like I, I mean it's a pity that I'm saying this but it's I would not do this again <laughs> I'm so glad that I'm I'm getting married once that's what I'm saying anyway I think I'm gonna leave this here and I will speak to you guys in my next video let me know in the comments if you want to see more wedding related stuff and like what kind of format you want to see it in because I don't really know how to do that like do I sit down like this and just like chat to you guys about wedding stuff and how it's going do I take you along to appointments and stuff like that but there's not too much I basically just email everyone because I work full time um yeah let me know what you want to see and I'm sorry if this is really long but oh well and I'll see you guys in the next video bye bye Ding dong, my whole life loving you. Life could be a dream, sweetheart.